What is happening everybody, my name is Seven, also known as Martiny Wood, and welcome back to another Ghost Recon Wildlands video. Now today what we're doing is looking at the best assault rifles within the game, so I'm going to throw, show all of the assault rifles that I've seen so far while I was playing on the beta, and of course give you an overview of the weapon and what I think it would be useful for. Of course if you have different opinions please put them in the comments, or if you have a favourite weapon that is yours please also do that. We've also done this for snipers and it has over 400 and something views so that's why i'm doing episode two but on assault rifles today so let's get straight into it and let's start having a look at the weapons now the p416 was the gun that you used when you first landed in the beta itself it's a really nice assault rifle and of course if you've played the beta or the game yourself then you will have used this and found this out for yourself in general it is a nice weapon to use but it isn't the best in the game but it is a decent weapon now, while playing the beta, you also unlock legendary weapons. You can unlock these two ones from killing El Polito's wife and himself. So if you kill her, then you get hers AK-47, which is a very girly styled weapon, as you can see on screen. But it is a much better version of the original AK-47. If you can handle the camo, then this is a weapon that you can use within Wildlands. If you can't handle the camo, then you can use his AK-47, which is the gun that we're also looking at as well today. And I also can say that this is a lot better than the original model of the AK-47 that is within Wildlands. As expected, the AK-47 is a weapon that's iconic and it needs to be in there because in the real world, it's also a heavily iconic weapon. The issue is it's just not the best. But these legendaries make the AK-47 a lot better. Now, what you're seeing on screen is the SR-3M, and it's a very SMG-style look like weapon. It is really compact compared to some of the other rifles, and that's why I say it looks like a submachine gun. But it is a really decent weapon, and this is for very up-close personal attacks. So, if I want to go in, in, in a place where there's lots of buildings, maybe there's fields, there's lots of vehicles around the place, this might be a weapon that you want to use when you're doing like a close-range assault. You can imagine somebody in your squad, or if you're going in by yourself, using this would have its advantages for sure so it's a decent weapon if you're looking for something close range with some decent damage now the 556xi is pretty general when it comes to its statistics but style wise it reminds me of the acr from modern warfare which we'll look at a little bit later in the video which i also think is a great weapon so i would rate this as a general weapon but if you pick this up it'll do damage it'll do its kills it will perform as you expect it would but it's not going to be the highest damage it's not going to be the longest range and it's also not going to be particularly the best for stealth yes you can apply uh, you know stealth attachments etc to this but i would just wouldn't really use this weapon so a general weapon if you have nothing else this is a weapon that you could use I've recently became a massive fan of Rainbow Six Siege and while playing that quite often I'm using the AK-12 which is what you've seen on screen and it's great that they've brought this to this game as well and it's a lot better than the AK-47 but in general it is just a general weapon. It'll be a great assault rifle, its style is very very nice as well and I can imagine some camos attached to this and some cool attachments would be great. Obviously probably a different op optical on it as well and that would really improve the weapon so I recommend this to any player uh, just for its factor of like it's in other games it performs well in other games so I imagine it'll perform well in Wildlands. Now the AUG A3 beautiful weapon and I love any AUG in any of the the actual like first person shooter games out there it is such a stylish looking weapon but it's high fire rate and it's decent range this gun is going to be so precise and it's going to cause a lot of damage expect a lot of kick on this i do imagine there will be some high level of kick but with the right attachments maybe even a foregrip attached to this gun it will be awesome probably an acog or something like that might be the best site to use on this but i'll definitely use it mid to long range and even up close i imagine it being absolutely killer for killing off your opponent so this is a weapon i would definitely use now we have the 805 Bren A2, and this reminds me very much of the, the 556XI, but the difference with this one, it has better noise reduction, and obviously like everyone will say, you know, you can add attachments to this, yes you can, but just as a general stock weapon that we're looking at today, it is genuinely better, which also means attaching something stealth wise to it would make it even better. I would use this mid to close range, and it is a decent rifle, but it's not one of the best within the game, but like I say, it's very similar to the 556XI, so it is 
a decent mid-range weapon to use within the game. The G2. The G2 looks amazing. It's such a cool little gun and, well I say little but it's it's not very small. It's not the same as uh, the compact assault rifle that we saw at the start but the G2 has such a high fire rate that this could be used deadly up at close. Like if you're storming through some fields, you're approaching some enemies, you're in a compound somewhere like that, you're attacking a military base, something along those lines or even in a uh, like a shanty town, something like that, this weapon would be so good without a doubt high rate of fire you're going to take down your enemy take less damage to yourself so i definitely use this weapon it's one of my favorite uh styles and also for the fact of close range i would pick this as being one of the better weapons now, if you're more of a laid-back player, the L85A2 is probably the weapon for you. It's a heavy-duty weapon, and it's going to be great for long-range kills. Personally, I like to get up close or mid-range, at least to my opponent, but if you want to sit further back, then you can use this weapon to do such a thing. So I wouldn't recommend it for close range, but if you're more of a laid-back player, this was probably one of the better assault rifles for yourself. So the cartel use a mass array of different weapons that you will find throughout the game and one of which is the R5 RGP which was actually used by the Unidad. Now I didn't rate this weapon very good at all when I used it, I didn't really enjoy it that much, it wasn't particularly the best and I would say for the classes that they tend to use this is a pretty below average weapon. Use it if you must when you're fighting against them but it's not really a weapon that I would recommend, it's definitely not one of the best in the game. Now very similar to the G2, like I said before, it looks very much like the ACR. The ACR is my favourite weapon so far out of this, but that's only purely because I've got so much nostalgia when it comes to this weapon. It just reminds me of all the times I played Modern Warfare 3 back in the days. That was my first ever first person shooter uh, you know, game that I ever played and it was just incredible. That weapon was amazing. It looks great with a silencer as well, so I would say for something that's average to a, a little bit more, but also something you want to use stealthy as well if you add the right attachments to it the acr is iconic and it's deadly so definitely have a use of this gun if you are playing wildlands and you go into the open world find this weapon use it and i guarantee if you've played anything like modern warfare 3 you will love this weapon now as said before the ak-47 isn't particularly the best weapon it does have a high damage rate but the rest of its statistics are pretty average so unless you've got a legendary version of the ak-47 i wouldn't stress too much about using using this yes if you want to use it for the factor of that it's a very iconic weapon then go ahead it's definitely going to do the damage but it's just not going to really live up to the factor of you know noise reduction range etc compared to some of the other weapons the m4a1 has a really high damage rate and it has a decent fire rate as well so basically this weapon is going to be great for mid range like attacking it's a great weapon in other games as well and it seems to be a weapon that just needs to be in every first person shooter it's a very military styled weapon it looks awesome and i think you will enjoy it if you are somebody who uh wants to fight pretty mid-range to a little bit closer to the opponent instead of being a little bit laid back so it'll be great for assaults and uh, I do think in general this is above average weapon to be using within the game. My friend recently the other day unlocked Blackbeard within Rainbow Six Siege and while he was playing as him he was oh I've got the MK17 and the MK17 is a decent gun. I wouldn't par it off as being a bad gun but I also wouldn't say it is one of the best. It's above average for its statistics but the fact that it's been used before by previous characters in previous uh, you know, recon games this is a decent weapon to look out for so if you get your hands on it use it and I guarantee it will perform very well. Now the TAR-21 this is, in my opinion, quite an ugly weapon. I don't like the look of this weapon. And versions of this weapon in other games like Call of Duty have always performed with a high fire rate but low damage. And I often find myself uh, at a disadvantage when it comes to that. I prefer a weapon, high fire rate, decent accuracy and, of course, higher damage. This weapon just doesn't do that for me, so I'd put this down as a below average assault rifle. I'd probably avoid this if I got my hands on it. I'm probably going to say this wrong, but it's like the El Comandante or something like that. It's the MK-17, but it's heavy duty. This thing is literally a beast. If you just want to pound bullets into your opponent, so 
I, I often like to do that. When I want to go loud, instead of just going in with a stealthy approach, I'll pick up an LMG or something mad. This is the closest uh, assault rifle to an LMG in my opinion. It is a legendary, so you won't be able to add any more attachments or anything to it. It comes as it comes. But when you're walking towards an opponent or a shelter or somewhere like that, you can just pound the bullets and that drum will just spin ammo straight out into the enemy. So it is a cool weapon for just being loud and manic. Definitely a weapon to look out for if you can find that within the game. Now these are the final two legendary weapons that we have, it's uh, the rip mode that you're having a look at on screen. Now this is designed to look like a weapon from MW3, you can see that from the camo and the design on the gun itself. It is a nice looking weapon and I do think it will perform very well and it, it is almost like an iconic weapon that goes back and brings nostalgia to you from MW3 times simply because of that uh, menu style design along it. But also just the weapon in general looks like a good weapon to be using in the world of Ghost Recon. Now the SIG 556 Llama, which is the last weapon I have for you today, has insane accuracy. It is literally a full bar and it also has a really good high fire rate. So this weapon, guaranteed, once you get your hands on it, it will destroy your opponent and it is insane. Of course it follows the whole trend of, you know, you can go to your Uplay account and look Llama type things and with the bait you can get t-shirts and, and stuff like that. So it's kind of like a, a comedy gun, but this thing doesn't laugh when it comes to destruction. It will destroy your opponent and it is an awesome weapon overall thank you ever so much for listening to me talk about the weapons today i hope this has helped you decide what weapons you might want to use or you might want to start looking for in the world some of these will definitely have a huge impact on some of the missions and a lot of the open world activities that you engage in by yourself or with your friends so thank you ever so much for watching my name's been seven or sons martin lee wood lucky cabin art all that you love take care of yourselves uh push